What's up guys, we got a brand new trailer for Saw X and you're gonna get the perspective of somebody that's not the biggest Saw fan, but I'm curious about this one because of where it takes place in the franchise. So anyway, let's react. What's up guys, welcome to another reaction. I just reacted to the Exorcist trailer and uh, man, it got a big turnout on that, that trailer reaction. So. Thank you all for watching. Maybe you, maybe you missed the trailer reaction. So I figured, why not do Saw X? And I'm genuinely interested in this movie as somebody that does not really care for the franchise. I think it just got way too convoluted after a couple of the movies. And I've seen all the movies except for, I think, Jigsaw. I haven't seen that movie yet. I saw Spiral, though, did not like it. And I saw a lot of the previous movies, okay? But going into this trailer, I'm really excited that it takes place after part two, I believe. And I remember one and two quite well. And I'll say this right now, Saw, the first Saw, probably one of the best twists I've seen in a long time. And it's a really, really great movie. So I don't take anything away from that movie. I just think the franchise got really convoluted. Uh, yeah, I guess much like a lot of franchises, okay? We all have our favorites. But uh, again, very excited about Saw X. I haven't seen the trailer. I don't know anything about this movie. Uh, but it's, I guess, the return of Jigsaw, played by Tobin Bell. So, anyway, let's react to this trailer. Out of all the men to cheat, you picked John Kramer? John! The cancer is still spreading. I'm afraid there's nothing else we can do. There is one person who might be able to help. Our program is a two-pronged treatment outside Mexico City. The results have been stunning. She saved my life. You're in very good hands with us. This trend of songs and trend. After that, what happens then? Drive me crazy. Your whole life happens then. John Kramer. According to these scans, the tumor was never removed. How much time do I have? Months, at best. I still have a lot of work that needs to be done. Hello, everyone. It's time to play a game. You all pretended to cure me, but what I have planned for each of you is very real. Peace came upon me. No light. No sound. The only thing I have not provided is your anesthetic. But trust me, you will want to remain alert. Out of all the men to cheat, you picked John Kramer? Please, don't hesitate. Place a big enough piece of your cerebral tissue into the glass enzyme tank. This will save your life. So sweet. This is not retribution. It's a reawakening. Live or die, the choice is yours. Um, <laughs> just, I don't know. <laughs> I don't, uh, by the way, there was this commenter, because I always like bringing up my haters. There was this commenter in my last reaction. He got mad because I wasn't like vocal during the reaction. That's just not my style. I don't, I'm not going to fake it and say, oh yeah, look at that. Holy shit. Wow. That's crazy. Love that. Because if you do that, you can't really like focus on what's going on in the trailer. So I, I don't know. I mean, wouldn't you rather me like absorb the trailer first and then give you my thoughts? It, it looks like a Saw movie. I'll say that. And I'll even say I liked the trailer for uh, Spiral. You know, it just, it looked like something new and fresh. This looks like more of the same, you know, from those first few movies. 
And if you are just like a diehard Saw fan, then you're probably gonna love this, okay? To me, it's just, I don't know. I think there is this low budget quality of the Saw franchise, and that can work sometimes with a very, very skilled filmmaker, but uh, sometimes it goes the other direction. And I, God, I hope I'm wrong about this. Yeah, I don't know. I guess maybe I wasted your time, but you know, maybe the perspective of somebody that's not like a diehard Saw fan, all right? To me, you know, I remember a lot of those early Saw movies quite well. This looks like, I guess, the lesser ones, all right? I, I do like the angle that, uh, you know, um, Jigsaw, he's kind of pissed off at these doctors that kind of screwed him over. So that's what this one's about. So I guess that's a good angle. And before watching this trailer, I will tell you one thing I was excited about was that this was, you know, taking place between two and three because it just kind of brought up the question like, where do you go from there if this movie is like a big hit, right? And would you like veer off in a different direction? I don't, I don't know. I don't get the point of plugging this movie into the, and I know a lot of franchises do this crap. Halloween, okay? Yeah, I don't know what the end game is here. Maybe they were just kind of, maybe they're trying to squeeze as much out of the turnip as they can. The saw turnip, I don't know, all right? The, 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 I guess the traps look kind of cool. But I think in the first saw, there was more of a, like an emotional aspect to the traps that really just sent it home. Whereas these, it just looks like carnage candy, you know? And if that's what you're going in for, then that's great. That's great. So will I see this movie? Probably. I'll probably check it out. We'll see. I, I'm curious to see why they would put this after part two. Maybe they want Tobin Bell in it, you know? I guess. I don't know. Maybe Tobin Bell was like really wanting to come back. Also, yeah, if like Spiral would have been a big hit, would they have continued down that path? By the way, Spiral, worst freaking killer reveal I think I've seen in ages. All right, I'll, I'll say that. All right, anyway, yeah, I veered off. Yeah, let me know what you guys think of this trailer down in the comments. I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys uh, think. Also, be sure to come over to Killer Flicks where we talk horror all day and every day and on Fridays. We do a few for Fridays. Follow my drum drums on my social support me on Patreon. Buy me coffee. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Drum dumb out. <laughs>